Strawberry Frappuccinos and a Black Leather Jacket, Chapter 27, An Interesting Development, written and narrated by Eleanor Rose, artwork provided by Marlene Bruce. If you have not heard the previous 26 parts of this fanfiction, you can find a link to them in the description box below. If anyone needed coffee this morning, it was Alia. Granted, a chai tea latte wasn't coffee, but the term still applied. That, and she'd been teasing Nino for the last couple of days, purposely being unable to see him so she could surprise him at work this morning. Drinks on the house was an added bonus. Usual latte, then? She heard the barista ask as she walked in. You got it! Alia said, clicking her tongue. Her heart fell a bit when she saw Adrian behind the counter instead of the boy she'd been teasing. Flirting? With the last two weeks. No Marinette today? He asked. Nah, she's canoodling with that Luca boy again. Oh? Yeah, they've seen each other just about every day this week. I wouldn't be surprised if they're official by Monday. Kind of fast, don't you think? Why do you care? He visibly stiffened at the question, back turned so she couldn't see his face. Interesting. She just seems like a nice girl. It'd be a shame if she rushed into something she wasn't ready for. What's there to not be ready about? Huh? They're only two or three years apart, and we're in our twenties. I think she'll be fine. That's not what I... What? Ever since you saw her at a fencing tournament in high school, you've had half a crush on her, and now you're conflicted because you're watching her turn attention elsewhere? Alia's hand pushed her hip forward, protruding confidence. She knew she'd seen him somewhere. But who'd have thought he was the guy Marinette had a crush on in high school? Granted, they never talked. But after far too many hours of digging, Alia finally found an article about him online. How did you know about that? Adrian stood frozen, cup raised and eyes wide. It was her turn to freeze. She was right? She was just trying to give him a hard time. Excuse me? Did I hear that right? Wait, you liked her too? What do you mean, too? Mouth hanging open, Alia pinned pieces of this newfound plotline together. Adrian was the cute fencing guy Marinette had a crush on in high school but never got the name of. Did she realize Adrian was him? Was that why she became a regular? Or had an obvious interest in the adult version of him? Those questions aside, Adrian knew about it? He'd seen her go to tournament after tournament back then? When did he realize Marinette was the girl at the back of the bleachers? Adrian, Alia began, did you ever have a crush on Marinette? I don't know what you're talking about. He answered quickly. Too quickly. She narrowed her eyes and picked up her latte, letting the air echo her long, loud slurp. Adrian dipped out to the back room without making eye contact, confirming any lasting suspicion. Well, she said, murmuring to no one, this is an interesting development. A development Marinette would never get to know about. He was already in a committed relationship, and she was finally exploring another option. It wasn't worth it. Even if it was, no relationship should start by breaking up with someone. Oof. Adrian Agrest was trouble. He was trouble, and Alia was ready to keep him at bay. Thank you so much for listening. If you made it to the end, comment, 
peanut butter blueberries in the comments section. Let's see how many people uh, make it this far. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao!